Yeah, so this all starts uh, way back in the summer before, uh, before the schools break up. Schools enter the Champion Schools competition, which is sort of run by the RFL, and we do the local rounds, so the Leeds area. And then in the start of September, between September and October, schools compete in fixtures, full 13 aside uh, fixtures, uh, throughout the half term. And at the end of the half term, the top four teams from each year group, from 7 through to 11, playing a semi final that we host at Kirkstall Training Ground, which then finally leads us all the way to here at the the boys have been here a couple of years to the finals. Um, they know it's, it's a good ground, the pitch is solid. Um, so come rain or shine, they know it's going to be a big effort for them. So yeah, they, they do enjoy it and they're always buzzing to get to the final and make sure that they can put on a big effort for the uh, uh, fans and spectators. It gives them a little bit more of a, an insight to how it is in, in terms of rugby and playing in a nice professional stadium. Gives them access to the changing rooms, having the changing room set up before a game. It's a little bit of a different experience to what it would be when they play a normal school game and we, we feel like that's warranted and deserved. And it's an opportunity to walk out from a tunnel in front of the parents uh, family, friends, uh, it's a good all round event and able to play on a, on a nice big pitch uh, with match officials. We have regular uh, interval sessions with, um, where you guys call the foundation, they come in. Um, we've had Ellis in a couple of times with the girls as well, which has been a massive, massive input. But frankly, for the boys, yeah, having we've had Joe, we've had Ellis, um, regular sessions that have come in, have taught us new things, they've taught us staff. Uh, some nice sessions and new tricks and things how to move forward and what we can bring to the boys for to build for the year 7s, 8s and 9s for next year, which has been great. Oh, it's very different to different uh, community club environments. Um, I think teachers have a massive role to play. They're so big on the, the game at the minute, especially the teams that we've got here. They're so involved, come to all of our competitions and they want to provide uh, kids with the best opportunity that they can and give them as many opportunities to play rugby league as possible and that's uh, accessing some of our events while also hosting their own fixtures throughout the season as well. A little picked up, um, obviously with Talent Scout, you know, we go watch, you know, the, the Leeds and Onslet schools, you know, cup competition uh, and playing down, you know, Kirkstall Academy. Training Academy, the, uh, the quarter-finals and semi-finals down there, really entertaining. And they were both Dylan Eschen and Ian Simeo from Coburn High School. They were both playing in that competition and uh, they both stood out. You know, their effort areas were really good and they've got some real talent, very athletic. Like you said, we've got two lads coming through to the academy. One probably starts next year, uh, one probably in year 10. Both the lads are playing tonight. The lads are really proud of it. We're really proud of it as a peak department. And it's just great to see that the coach, you know, myself and Mr. Law, we've worked hard and we've put in. And it's all down to them for putting the hard work and coming in, like I say, week in, week out. So, really proud of them. Well, there's so many pathways, you know, that the Rhinos Foundation, you know, give, you know, to young people uh, and, and obviously the schools uh, competition is one of them. Credit to the foundation, you know, credit to all the stakeholders that support the foundation and give these young players wonderful opportunities, you know, to develop. But without them, coaches, you know, that put, you know, the voluntary time in, you know, to make that happen and the staff will put the foundation happen so you know a big a big wrap you know a lot of credit you know to Leeds uh, Rhinos Foundation for making all that happen.